there was a number I didn't recognize, and I picked it up, and he said, Hello, this is Steve McQueen, and I'd like to offer you the role of Patsy. And I just remember I was in the, uh, I was just, I just left my house. I was going to go sit in the grass and just take in the last 24 hours. And my knees just grew weak. And I sat on the pavement and I said, I'd like to accept the role of Patsy. Playing Patsy overall was difficult because I had, there was an underlying stream of grief at all times. Even in the lightest scenes, you know, the fact is that there was a deep pain in Patsy throughout. And living in that pain was not easy, but I felt privileged to have that opportunity to be entrusted with this real woman's story and to bring it to the world, you know? It was a privilege, and I got to um, be in this kind of place of despair momentarily, you know, and in my, just in my imagination, whereas this woman actually lived these atrocities, and that always grounded me and, and made it practical. Slaves were known to make crafts out of things like corn husk, and there was always something very childlike about Patsy for me because I knew she'd been robbed of her childhood by her master, taking an early sexual interest in her. So I thought, ooh, it would be nice if she made corn husk dolls for the, the little girls on the plantation. And in the way Steve uses it in the film, it becomes an externalization of a part of Patsy that could not be enslaved. And uh, that was really powerful for me because in playing her I learned that you don't have to have lived a day free to know what freedom is, you know, that it's actually a human instinct, this desire to be free. Lupita Nyong'o oh, is yeah. back in the news, but this time <laughs> she's not alone as she has roped in Somalian uh, Canadian. But until the minute uh, I got on set, I was certain every day 